Alright guys, while Bitcoin gives us some hope in terms of the price action but almost no hope in terms of the volume, I would like to share with you some updates on on-chain analysis and in particular the report from Renata Shirakashi. One other thing which I was going to mention is that some people write me about this peak in SOPR indicator which appeared to be happening very recently in just one or two days before and it is very similar to the one which we saw in the end of May and one can speculate that there is some kind of activity on blockchain and then after that we saw some decrease in price not that much and then the new rise after that so whether we'll see something like that again or not uh, probably no because some people also mentioned and Rat Sharkash replied to that that this is a movement to Zappa wallet and probably it is internal nothing outrageous so shouldn't be taking into consideration and in fact indeed there was a transaction for 47,000 bitcoin uh, sent to Zappa wallet if you don't know what Zappa wallet is go ahead and check it out there are a lot of established industry in bitcoin and cryptocurrency space right now and some of them are very interesting but in any case probably it's not some kind of a signature of the future price action because of the SOPR indicator but only the reallocation of some funds with Zappa wallet the thing is that those addresses were started from August 2015th so apparently because of the huge number and the long time it led to a lot of the Bitcoin days destroyed change and this is one of the things which is affecting a lot of the on-chain parameters including SOPR and finally I was going to share with you the report from Renata Shirakashi where he's presenting his view observation on the market recently and the main conclusion is that it is neutral so let's see what he has for us first of all SOPR uh, of course SOPR and again guys if you don't know those on-chain indicators then just go to the playlist which which is called on-chain analytics on the channel you can find that a lot of those indicators are shown there in separate videos so anyways he said that SOPR is around one at the moment but despite that usually it is the indication that supply is exhausting and people don't want to take profits at the same time seven days median value of SOPR is still above one and it has a lot of room to fall so the correction may actually be extended to this level the point is in my opinion that this actually was still a bear period for SOPR this is a bull period so maybe on the bull period we wouldn't have such a dramatic drops for seven days median version of SOPR and maybe this is enough actually to start to grow and another thing which he is looking at is the average outputs lifespan in principle he is saying that it is growing a little bit with the rise of the price but it's not outrageously growing and this is a regular thing because like old coins start to move slowly and people take profits so the current situation it's nothing surprising and we shouldn't worry and didn't wouldn't consider this as a major sell-off or something like that finally the realized price distribution which is over here and it looks like a triangle right now so you can see that it is actually wider at the bottom and narrower at the top and this is usually the picture for the growing condition when the price is going higher or at least it is going higher long term but if it would be a kind of reversal or at least one of the major reversals even within the strong bull trend it probably would look um, reversal so the wider area would be here and narrow area would be here so this is another more or less bullish thing when we're looking at the on-chain date and also it is supported by market value to realized value data showing 2x for unrealized profits so what is his conclusion uh, overall on-chain scenario points to a consolidation zone where supply is very limited and we will have a room to grow demand this looks like the stage at the end of corrections in the last bull market so in principle we are looking at the point when maybe this current correction is about to be over but in fact we need to build demand otherwise price will not have force to go up and also he's mentioning that usually it takes like four to eight weeks for the correction so we don't need to hurry and maybe we'll even see some huge red candle in the end of that so of course be careful be cautious with your investment decisions and this is a kind of the zone of uncertainty that's why he is saying about the neutrality in terms of his estimation for the market condition so I skipped the TA point because we already covered a lot of that but this is the interesting thing you remember we we're looking at the correlation between 
showing the tether capitalization in the price of Bitcoin. And now Renato Shirakashi is showing the ratio between the capitalization of Bitcoin and all stable coins. He actually wrote supply, but I think he meant capitalization because otherwise it wouldn't be that big due to the supply of Bitcoin is like 17 million and stable coins is like billion of dollars and billion of the supply of course so the point here is that he is showing this uh, level of 25 which seem to be a uh, resistance for the ratio and after that the price usually goes down the price of bitcoin but at the same time although there is not so much of the statistical data here it's interesting that if we look at the behavior of this ratio with respect to the price rise in fact you can draw some kind of a channel here and it's not that of the parabola as you could see for the price of bitcoin so in fact despite we see such a strong and fast move in terms of the price we don't see much of the acceleration for this ratio and basically what he's saying that there is a kind of the correlation between these two in terms of the demand and the idea here which which i personally would look at is that this low is much close, closer to this low comparing to the difference between the price actually so while we may have not a, such a huge correction it's like 35 percent it's not that big but in terms of this ratio it is very huge so maybe it's kind of overextended and looking at this difference maybe we should consider the fact that it is actually the point of the reversal and we already passed it so it's unlikely that we'll see it below this low or even closing this low because otherwise it will bring all the trend to a kind of a questionable position so at some point this may be an indication for the end of the correction and possible reversal at least sideways price action for the next weeks and months okay finally i was going to show you the update from the glass note which is showing the data for sopper from renato shirakashi they are saying that now the data for litecoin is avail available before we had only bitcoin now litecoin is also there and you can see that it pretty much follows the general trend so for the bear market we see sopper below one having hits on level of one and then pullbacks and the bull market it's other way around so sopper is positive and it has pullbacks from level of one from bottom to top and so on and so forth right now by the way it's actually quite low and it may mean two things first a uh, kind of overextended correction or a reversal from the bull market to a bear market for litecoin but while we can't really say what is it right now we need some more of price action i would like to point out the similarity between this area and this area for for the price of, of litecoin and in fact the correlation of this price to the sopr indicator we may turn on seven day median version of that so you can see in fact that it also had some rise some significant rise before in the previous bull period and then it was almost 200 percent down covered all that rise and the same is right here so we had quite of the move to the upside and then almost 100 percent of that move was wiped out with the uh, following correction so in principle you may expect some sideways price action as it was before and then finally the main rise in the price of course nobody guarantees that it will happen but at least it's interesting to observe such fractals so anyway feel free to look at the glass node data they have sopper for litecoin and finally i would like to sp say that on this boring market i decided to make a little bit of the move in terms of the leverage position on bitmax so I actually look at the current price action I think we still will move sideways for a while so in case of we will return to something like $9,500 I will have an open position with 10x leverage with uh, liquidation somewhere around $8,600 maybe $8,700 which would be below 100 days moving average also if you look at the Bollinger Bands this is the area of this band here lower band so it also would be lower than the lower band unlikely although possible that the price will go to this area if it will yeah it could be liquidated but I have some small portion of my overall portfolio in this position I will I mean but I still think that it is quite unlikely that will happen but if it will open then i will make updates on telegram channel and telegram chat so feel free to join if you want and with that said i think that's it for today guys i hope it was useful thank you for watching